In this example, we will explore the graph of y equals cotan theta. In part A, draw y equals cotan theta. Bring up the unit circle for cotan theta. We need to create a grid so we can draw the graph of y equals cotan theta. We have lines representing root 3, root 3 over 3, negative root 3 over 3, and negative root 3. Draw the points from the first quadrant. Draw the points from the second quadrant. Draw the points from the third quadrant. And draw the points from the fourth quadrant. Draw the graph in asymptotes. If we go around the unit circle clockwise, we can draw the left side of the graph. In part b, state the period of y equals cotan theta. Bring up the graph of y equals cotan theta. The period is pi. In part c, state the domain and range. Bring up the graph of y equals cotan theta. The graph exists for all real numbers, with the exception of the asymptotes where cotan theta is undefined. The domain is theta belongs to the set of real numbers, with the restriction that theta cannot equal n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. The graph exists for all real numbers. The range is y belongs to the set of real numbers. In part d, write the general equation of the asymptotes. Bring up the graph in the domain. The restriction of the domain for y equals cotan theta becomes the equation of the asymptotes. The asymptotes occur at theta equals n pi, where n belongs to a set of integers. Now we'll move on to part e. Given the graph of f of theta equals tan theta, draw y equals 1 over f of theta. Drawing the reciprocal graph of y equals tan theta is a quick way to create the graph of y equals cotan theta. In step 1, draw asymptotes at the x-intercepts. In step 2, points where y equals negative 1 or positive 1 are invariant. This means that they occupy the same position in both graphs. Finally, in step 3, fill in the cotangent shape. 